I'm Paul. What are you doing? It's your turn. Can't. It's classified. We're recording. It's it's your... I told you. It's classified information. Hey guys, I am Devin and we are Dads and Dice. And today we are here with a Kickstarter preview of Classified Information, the new two-player deduction game by IncrediQuest Games. We're going to do a quick playthrough of the game because as you'll see, they play pretty quick in about a 15-minute game. Uh, but first, I'll do a quick little rundown of exactly how to play. So the first thing that's going to happen is we are both going to get down a secret suitcase number. Now, typically, it would be secret, and I wouldn't just straight up reveal it to Paul. Um, but I want to show y'all... This right here, this one, is my suitcase number, and it is what I'm trying to protect, or the code I am trying to protect. The code is always going to be one digit lower, one digit higher, with nines and ones kind of wrapping around. The deck itself is comprised of the numbers one through nine twice. So you've got an 18 card deck. However, a part of setup will be to set two cards aside so you never quite know what is in the game. On your turn, you are going to have start with a hand of two cards and you will start your turn by drawing a card. And then the first thing you can do is play the card for just its ability. And there's all kinds of different abilities. It comes with not just nine different cards, but three different sets. So plenty of abilities. You can mix and match. Just tons of different things to do, whether it be to mess with the discard deck or get to peek at what's in the deck or possibly mess with the opponent's cards. There's just all kinds of variety in the abilities that will be played. The second way that you can play a card is you can add it to this encrypt pile that's going on over here. So it's just a little piece of information that you know that now your opponent does not know. The third way that you can play a card is to play it as its enlist effect. And there are three different types, but two different real abilities. The first is to play a guard, and the guards are there to guard your suitcase number. So I could play it as a guard face down. And then the second way to play one is as an assassin. And the assassins will attempt to dispatch the guards. So if Paul was playing this five as the assassin, I would then check all of my face down guards and I would then see if the assassin's number is in its code. In this case it is, so my guard is removed from play and no longer protecting my case. The third type of enlist is actually a sentinel, which then lets you just kind of decide if you want it to be a guard or you want it to be an assassin. So we're going to play through the entire deck, and then we're going to play one additional turn without drawing, and that will leave us each with one card left in our hand that we will then reveal. We will reveal our suitcases, and we will see if those numbers are in each other's suitcases. So once we reveal the remaining card in our hand and compare it to our suitcase number, there's going to be a couple outcomes that can happen at the end of the game here. So the first is you can look here and see I had a 5, Paul's code was a 567, so I have an unguarded match. Paul has a 9 and my code was a 912 and that is a match, however I had a guard of a nine. So he had a guarded match, I had an unguarded match, I win the game. If we both had unguarded matches, the person with the most guards wins, or if we both had no matches or only guarded matches, then we also check to see who has the most guards and that person wins. And that is really as simple as it is to play classified information. We're going to clean this up, kind of get it officially set up. We'll be back in just a second. All right, so here we are. We got everything set up. Um, but before we actually get into the game, let's talk about how we're going to keep track of that information that we're going to be gathering. So we have this cipher wheel here. And in this cipher wheel, it's got every number of the cards on there. 
And it's also got what kind of card it is. So there's a little shield, and then there's a little assassin. And then for the three, six, and nine, which are the sentinels, it's got kind of both on there. So this is how we'll be keeping all that information kind of in the forefront of our brains while we're trying to figure out what's going on. And we've got these nice kind of, you know, just wet erase markers or dry erase markers. They can just mark on there. Um, you know, if I've seen both twos, I can cross that off. Or if I've only seen, you know, one of them, I can cross that off. But it's just a nice way to kind of keep all that information in one place. They provided us with this cool little stand here that we'll be uh, keeping our ciphers on there. So we're just going to kind of keep them here a little bit off screen so that we're uh, not kind of peeking at each other. Generally, when you play this game, you do it, you know, head to head. But this is what we've got today. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, we had decided that I am the first player. And the first thing I need to do is mark all that little information that Very I true. already know. Yeah. So I know my suitcase. And I know the cards in my hand. Mm -hmm. And I know what Paul has. <laughs> 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 Let's hope not. You were, uh, what is it, counting the deck there? Yeah. With only 18 cards, that's a, All right. kind of a hard thing. So we'll do our best to kind of, you know, talk our... our or plays that we're doing but we don't want to give too much information because it's a deduction game so we'll do our best to kind of talk about what we're doing but we'll go from there so Devin you're up first all right so I think the first thing I am going to do is enlist a guard interesting so, so you have no information I uh I mean you have some information um I enlisted my guard Okay, well, I'll draw my card here. That gives me some good information there. All right. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide some information from you. I'm going to go ahead and encrypt that one. Okay. That's the card I'll never know. Card you'll never know. I think it's a good one for you not to know. All right. So I am going to actually deploy this card here and so what this does i get to play it for its ability and so i flip one of my guards face up and the opponent must tell me if the guard's number is in their code so you have to tell me hmm. if the nine is in your code so i will tell you it is not in my code okay um let me gather some information here then that okay <clears throat> you know the nine is not in my code um all right let me draw a card here uh, i'm gonna play this as a guard I'm going to play this one as a guard. Let me make sure what it was. Okay. Okay. While you're marking your info, I am going to draw this. And I think... Hmm. I'm going to deploy the hacking dart the opponent tells me Ooh. whether their suitcase number is odd or even okay um it is a even number okay it's a powerful card right there you know without pulsing the nice <laughs> thing is uh there's a little bit of room down here that I like to scribble my notes on, so I'm just going <laughs> to put that little note there. Okay. Um, hmm. Let me draw my card here. We're already going through this deck so quickly, I feel like. I know so much because of that. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> Uh, I know something because of that. I probably should believe you, <laughs> knowing you. Okay. 
So I'm going to hmm. I'm going to play my scavenge. I'm going to deploy them. And this is the one where I get to choose a card from the top three of the discard and place it into my hand. And I discard another one from my hand. So I'm going to take this one, place that into my hand. And I'm going to discard one from my hand. And I'll discard this one. Hmm. So uh, gave you a bit of information on that one. But I feel like I'm going to get some information. Hmm. What are we at here? Three more cards. I think I'm just going to uh, encrypt. Okay. Now I know a little bit you don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I am going to play the card that uh, I just scavenged from you. Okay. And uh, is it odd or even? Mine is even. Yours is even. Okay. You're right in your little... Writing in my little uh, information, little piece of information there. And actually, while I'm at it, let me just uh, go ahead and do this here. Hmm. 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 Is right. I'm at a. I'm at a crossroads. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, oh. I'm gonna check my guard here. Okay, I don't know enough to know uh, exactly what you have. I think I know what you have. Pretty sure I know what you have. And if uh, if I don't, then I'm completely wrong. <laughs> if it's not what I think, let me. I'm going to encrypt. I'm just trying okay. to decide what I'm going to encrypt. Um, well, what can it be? Who could it be now? I'm going to encrypt this one here. Okay, I'm getting the last card here. Um... I'm going to play a guard right there. Okay. Now we have one more turn. I'm gonna hope I'm uh, right. I'm just gonna encrypt this one, uh, this one here. Yeah. So it's it's really this is tricky because it's really down to two cards for me, and both of these help me with either one. Were you in that same scenario there? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping that I'm picking the right one. I'm gonna go with my gut. Do it. And encrypt this one. Okay. All right. All right. Ooh. Okay. So first and foremost, it is time for the big reveal. Yep. Our suitcases. Our suitcases. Ready? Three, two, one. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the cards we're holding. I am holding a five. I'm holding a three. What do you have defending? I have a two and a one. Two and a one. Ugh. So, uh, we look here. <laughs> I have a five, which is in Paul's yeah. code. Uh, 
Uh, Paul has a three, and that is not my code. I have an unguarded match, so I am the winner of the game. You know which one is there? <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one that I just encrypted. So. Oh, wait, that was your suitcase. It was my... Oh, okay. It was guarded, so it was you guarded. are actually Hold on, kind did of, you just encrypt one? I did. I, this was the one I encrypted. No. No, you encrypted No, no, I encrypted this nine. one. Nine. Oh, uh, dang so, it. Which, in which case, mm. it didn't matter too much because right, I did have the right. nine guarded. Um, you're right. Now, oh, that man. was... Man, it's a... Uh, I love that tension <laughs> right there, right? <laughs> that was so uh, good. It, it's honestly... It's so much fun seeing that. Um, this was... <laughs> classified information and so you guys got to see a little taste of uh, how it plays there um it's honestly just kind of a neat little mm -hmm. deduction game it feels kind of um that deduction yeah. need if you're really only playing at two players you know paul and i play a ton of games together and we both also <laughs> have significant others that we play games yep. with and so this game kind of just fits perfectly into that and still getting to do the deducing uh that you want out mm -hmm. of like a bigger social deduction type of game yeah yeah honestly this this year lately i've been getting a lot into deduction games with you know turning machine and search for plan at X and and uh, cryptid and all those and and this one gives me that same satisfying feeling in 15 minutes or less with just somebody directly across from me just going head to head and I love that so let's talk about a couple of the things that come in this really nice compact I would say travel size mm -hmm. bag um, so you just saw kind of a handful of the cards but there's actually three total sets of cards and they each consist of the numbers one through nine with different abilities now the sentinels guards and assassin breakdown is the exact same mm -hmm. in each and how it works is I could just grab set number one and I could play with set number one and then I could play a game with set number two and it's a little different and set number three and it's a little different and then I could take from set number one I could take numbers one three and eight and then set number two I take two four mm -hmm. and nine and and so on and you can you can mix and match from the sets you can just use two sets and combine them together you know uh, that alone just adds quite a bit of different mm -hmm. not just replayability but also um, uniqueness to each game the way cards interact with each other and with kind of the things that are already out there are different and that is i think a really neat feature of this yeah and that was actually the gameplay that y'all just saw it was a mixture of the three decks the emerald the ruby and then the yellow one which is the citrine right and so the really cool thing about these decks is that they actually kind of play differently. So the Emerald deck, I'm not 100% sure if it's Emerald one, but like one deck will play more towards like manipulating your opponent's cards and one will be more into like um, having these other actions like peaking or triggering and stuff like that. So it's a really cool balance of just a different gameplay with whatever deck you have. Yeah, I, I the the one you mentioned peeking. I I, yeah. I remember one where you could see the bottom cards mm -hmm. of the deck, you know, and uh, it was just a little bit more information. And it just it, it is uh, neat how interchangeable all of that is. So now, one thing, sorry, one thing I want to kind of focus on is is these tuck boxes that the cards come in, right? So you've got the actual deck here, and it's got all the cards in it, but you've got this really awesome reference sheet that. It, honestly, it tells you all the rules on here. You know, it does give you a QR code to access the full rule, but once you kind of know the game, once you've played it enough, this right here is all you need in order to to get the game back out to the table, right? It's it's super easy, it's super organized, it tells you everything about it, and I absolutely love this. Yeah, honestly, in the playthrough that we just had, I had one just slightly off uh, camera <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that I was using to reference, so I think that is great. This game is really for uh, two players that like to do the deduction, mm -hmm. want to do the kind of head-to-head -head thing, um, and want that done in kind of a quick amount of time. Mm -hmm. uh, with Teach and All, right, this was 20 minutes um, and with our kind of cheesy uh, introduction <laughs> and all. And But normally we can really play it in like 10 minutes. We've mm -hmm. had the anomaly game that has gone, you know, almost 20 where yeah. we're really like 
oh, I don't what quite can know. I do? What can thing. I do? <laughs> but I would say most sit in that 10 minute range, and I think that's a good sweet spot. Also, the fact that it all fits in this bag, right? Uh, you have your suitcases mm-hmm. for best two out of three. You have your markers, your stands, your. Um, it comes with sleeves. All of that fitting in this bag makes it where. If Paul and I were mm-hmm. going on a road trip or... Yeah. Uh, we're going camping in a couple yeah, weeks, camping right? or something like that, <laughs> this is like perfect to yeah. throw right there in your bag, your backpack, bust out on the floor of an airport when you yeah. showed up three hours early and went right through <laughs> security like you weren't expecting. So uh, that is the type of thing that this is great for. And not even just that, like on your 30-minute lunch break, if you've got somebody at work that you know is kind of into it, this is just something that you can do. You know, you finish your lunch, and instead of just scrolling through your phone, get this out. Play it with somebody. A ton of fun. So that was our little Kickstarter preview of classified information. We would like to say thank you so much to IncrediQuest Games for sponsoring this video. And if you haven't already, go check out their Kickstarter if it's past October 15th when it goes live. If not, sign up for the notifications because it's coming soon. Other than that, that is all we have. So please like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help us, help our channel grow. We'll see you on the next one. (laughs) Hey guys, I am Devin and we are Dads and Dice. And today, I, not I, we. (laughs) Hey guys, I am (laughs) Devin. I just like Cut to this spot right here because Devin's going to do it the first time every time from this moment. Yes.